Hey guys, welcome to my channel. So in today's tutorial, I'm going to be tu doing a tutorial on how to edit the skin of your portrait like the photographer Joshua Kisi. So Joshua Kisi, if you don't already know, is a portrait photographer, I believe from Ghana. I follow him on Instagram. I don't know much about him, so I can't go into details about that. But if you want to find out more about his work, I would advise you follow him on Instagram. So I just really love the way he edits the skin of his subjects. So that's what I'm going to be recreating here. The key factors to achieving this look is mainly using adjustment layers such as solid color to really add a rich skin tone to your subject. So here you can just see me doing frequency separation to the image. I'm not going to go into details on the necessary steps that you need to take to achieve the frequency separation because this is not a frequency separation video. But if you do look at Joshua's pictures, you will see that all his subjects have that kind of like smooth um, look to their skin. And obviously he achieves that by doing frequency separation. So that's what I'm going to be doing first for my subject's skin. And the picture I'm editing is my own picture, but the pictures obviously I use for the introduction where Joshua's pictures. So I'm just going to speed it up and you guys can just watch me do the frequency separation. But if you want a frequency separation video, this is not it. But yes, the first step is to do your frequency separation. Now, once I'm done with the frequency separation, if you look at Joshua's pictures, you're going to um, see that all his portraits have kind of like this highlight um, where the highlights are supposed to be. And this um, process is called dodging and burning. So it's called doge and burn. And that's what I'm going to be doing to uh, my subject's face right now. I'm just going to be adding highlights where the the light naturally hits his face joshua really does that in his pictures this is a great process because it just kind of adds that like depth to your picture to your image and just makes it look a bit more realistic and not so flat you know so i'm just dodging and burning you also this is not a dodging and burning tutorial so that's something you're gonna have to figure out and once you've dodged and burned, this is the key part. Now you're going to go to adjustment layers. You're going to click on solid color. And depending on your subject skin tone, you can see my subject in this picture is very dark. And uh, so I'm going to select a brown color that looks something like this. And once I have the brown color, now I'm going to mask the layer. And I'm going to select the brush tool. And I'm just going to make sure that... Um, my brush is just big enough just to speed up things a bit just make it big according to like your image size obviously uh i think that size is just fine for me make sure that top um color is white and the one underneath is black so you can color the color on top of the skin but just avoid um coloring over the eyes and i will explain why as the video goes on so right now i'm just coloring um the face of my subject the skin sorry uh, I'm just coloring the skin that brown color and I know it doesn't make sense right now but I'm gonna I'm kind of gonna explain to you guys what I'm why I'm doing this so this is the part where you are gonna achieve that rich skin tone that Joshua kind of has in his portraits guys I'm not saying that he edits his pictures exactly like this i don't know how he edits them but this is just like my you know own tutorial like if i wanted to edit like that what would i do you know i'm kind of challenging myself to learn how to do certain things if i like what the artist is doing but i'm not saying i'm gonna copy people's work so next thing you're gonna adjust the opacity of that color obviously because it looked a bit weird so now we've adjusted opacity just adjusted um according to your liking your preference so i've adjusted the opacity of my image you can also play around with the feeling there just to make it not so fake you know but you can already tell the difference from like how his skin looked before it's much more rich so i'm just gonna be adding um dodging and burning again just adding the highlights just a little bit because i feel like adding on um, the solid color on top of the skin kind of just messed up with my highlights a little bit so i'm just going to be adding the highlights just to not make my image so flat and add a bit of depth to it so yeah i've just added the highlights to my image
Now, once you're done with that, you're also going to notice that all Joshua's subject, like all his portraits, if you notice, um, his subjects have the, the, the eye, the white part of the eye is very white, like it's clearly very defined. Obviously, it's edited because people's eyes don't look like that. So you're going to color that part white and then reduce the opacity. Just make it look as natural as can be. But this is obviously your own preference. I just created another layer. And on that layer, I painted that white area of the eye white. And then I just reduced the opacity a little bit. And I think, yeah, I'm quite happy with how it's looking right now. And um, right now I'm just adding like a bit of contrast using curves layer, but this is optional. You don't have to do this part because I just feel like I need to add a bit of contrast to my image. That's just my preference. But if you want, you can skip this part. So now you've achieved your rich skin tone, your popping eyes. I think you can move on to color grading. But when I look at Joshua's pictures, I see that obviously not all of them like some of his pictures are warm if you do check out his instagram account but not all of them and i think the colors in his pictures pop so much to kind of add a bit of contrast to his subject's um skin tones because one of his key um editing skills i believe is like making the subject's skin color pop and just smooth and beautiful so right now i'm just like playing around with the colors with the blues in my image, the saturation, the light of each color. And I just want to make it pop and make sure that my subject is standing out. And his skin is super smooth. His eyes are really, really white. And I'm really happy with this look. I feel like this is close to what he does. I'm not saying this is how he does it or these are the exact steps that he takes. But this is what I would do if I wanted to achieve a similar look. Now I'm just adjusting like adding a bit of clarity there just a little bit. You don't want to add too much. And you can just play around here. Just be creative, you know. Once you've achieved the skin tone, you just want to be creative with your um, camera roll filters there. I don't know but i'm quite happy with this look so i'm gonna end right there so this is the final look thank you guys for watching don't forget to subscribe to my channel i will see you guys in the next video goodbye